about a million times. <laughs> These kids ran me ragged. They each have the metabolism of a hummingbird. Ooh. Is there some party tonight that I'm missing? There certainly is. Preston and I are celebrating the 10th anniversary of the night we first met. You mean when you thought he was going to push you up against the wall and rape you? Yes, darling. It's also the night that Wyatt here gave your father the shaft. Oh, and I only had to murder three other agents before your mother would let me represent him again. And you're still on probation, mercenary wretch. <laughs> you find another agent that'll babysit the spawn of hell on a Saturday night. Wyatt. Choose your weapon. <laughs> You know, you saved Preston from people like me. She saved me from myself. Mm, time to go. This kind of sincerity is bad for my self-image. <laughs> Good night, Wyatt. Night, Wyatt. move to the country. We'll buy a big house with lots of land for the kids. The kids would hate it as much as you would. Then for you. There's nothing you could give me that I don't already have. Yes, there is. Oh, I hate this neighborhood. Can't get a cab here ever. Ever seen this? That's what killed Jared. Then it turned on me. I knew I was gonna die, but it spoke. It spoke. It said to me it wouldn't kill me if I promised never to tell anybody what had happened, what I'd seen. So I never told anybody. And then why are you telling me? Because you're the most important thing in my life. Because you've brought me 10 years of happiness, 10 years of success, 10 years of a perfect life. I'm telling you because I love you. You deserve everything I can give you. And the only thing I've never given you is the truth about what happened the night we met.
What's wrong? I'm not making this up. I'm telling you the truth. You promised you'd never tell! I don't want to know. 